23-year-old Jackson Weller had his whole life ahead of him. He transferred from Gateway Community College in Arizona to play baseball here at UNM. Now after his death, students and city leaders are questioning what could have been done differently and why the Knob Hill area is so prone to gun violence. Students that come here, and, and Jackson is a great example, he came here to make a, a life for exactly what he wanted. Albuquerque and UNM offered everything he wanted for his future, and somebody cut that short. City leaders expressing their sadness and frustration for the fallen UNM baseball player. When you're on a sports team, it's family. UNM has since created a memorial at the athletics facility with Jackson Weller's jersey. Even students who didn't know him are feeling the impact. Express utmost condolence for the family but also to use this event as a reminder to students that there are dangers. While a UNM student being killed is very rare, students say gun violence in the area is not. And it's unfortunate that we have to live here in this place that we call home and want to feel safe in feeling like we have to be on alert. That's why city leaders say they're stepping up efforts to get more police patrolling the art corridor on Central Avenue. This police substation in Knob Hill reopened last year. It's about a tenth of a mile away from where the shooting happened. But as you can see on this Sunday, it is not open. In fact, three days a week, it's not staffed. I spoke with Councilor Pat Davis. He says their new plan to add officers would fix that. But more police isn't the only thing the city wants to change. And how do we ensure that when folks get leave at the end of the day, uh, two o'clock in the morning when they're ready to go home that those businesses that put them out on the street are also a part of the plan to get them home safely. The city councilors tell me they plan to discuss Weller's death with police at the city council meeting and where they are in the investigation. They also want to come up with a plan that includes these late night bars and restaurants that stay open late and how they can be a part of a solution to help keep their customers safe even after they walk out the door. Reporting in Knob Hill, Brandon Evans, KWT Action 7 News.